So I'm just going to start without them. So we decided on uh, a look for the fairy crown. There we go. Going. So we've gone and this has been cut on a laser cutter. Uh, you can also uh, cut these things on by hand. We've done it in the past. And uh, one of the things we were talking about when we were talking about cutting the frame for the wings uh, about four broadcasts back, five broadcasts back, is if you're doing this by hand, uh, this is ABS, but you can also use styrene. Styrene has a shorter lifespan than ABS. ABS is a much sturdier material. Uh, the thinner material with the ABS takes the abuse and less likely to crack. Styrene ages. Uh, try not never to use styrene white, like it comes white, but don't use it white because it goes yellow and the sun does horrible things, it deteriorates. Uh, styrene is similar to the material on you know, those white um, lawn chairs that you can get that uh, when the sun beats down on them, after a while you sit down on them in your black clothes and you stand up and there's white down the back. It's a very similar material. Order. So um, this is this is this kind of design for a crown or a tiara is better than a full circle because your measurement will have to account for whatever your wig is. So if you don't have things in your wig yet and you're doing hats or crowns or anything like that, just do an open back design. You know, if you wind up with the right measurement after all, then fine. You can just glue it together with a little bridge. But uh, if you don't have to, then that's fine. So we got to make this look like a fairy crown. Oh, that's an interesting little piece. Let's see what that looks like on it. So when you're using up extra material, it's just a matter of, of pulling from your your stash anything you think might work for it, and then just start holding pieces up and seeing how they look. And you know what's I know I had oh there it is that's a possibility. I am going to move all the rest of this that I know I'm not using. Out of the way. St. Anne's. Much better. Much better. Gotta get in the Irish mood, you know? So let's see. Scratch it away, it's not gonna reflect as much. And remember, folks, it, it reflects differently out in the sunlight than it does under your lights at home. So until you actually get it outdoors in the middle of the afternoon, you don't have a true test anyways to what it looks like. Test wear things before you bring them out in the public or compete. Um, when we did, uh, when the, when the Adam suit was in the shop, it, uh, there were so many tests. I mean, just, just test after test, mobility tests checking test, fit test, nothing goes to set or into public until you've tested it. If you haven't tested something, make sure it's something you already know about because the worst thing you want to do is have something fall apart while you're in public. Metal gears. All right, we're going to get Martin in here. I'm going to try to create as much room as possible. And this is why I tried slices? to get this. Pizza! Oh. Lactose intolerant. One out of every four North Americans are lactose intolerant. I blame the cows. You blame the cows? It's not the cows' fault. <laughs> They're the ones making all the lactose. Don't blame the poor cow. Can't blame the cow. The cow's doing its job. That's true. I'm not sure what to blame. We'll figure it out. Well, think of, you know, we're not supposed to have dairy past a certain point. But come on, seriously, can any of you turn down dairy? I mean, here. Speaking of not turning down nom, dairy. Nom, 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 noms. Nom, nom, noms. We're going to eat while we work. This is a lifestyle. This is our life, baby. Chicken. We're going to talk about cows, talking about chicken. So, it's just a matter of hot gluing. And hopefully, they'll stay down. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to make some <laughs> extra space for Martin. Oh, he can get some work done too. Hi. Now, when we both get into this, it, it becomes uh, quite a little frenzy here. It's a little cluttered. We want you to be able to see what we're doing, so hey. Oh, I'm not standing. You're on standing the on my cord. Is that a new expression? Standing <clears throat> on my cord. Hey, dude, you're standing on my cord. Uh, along the lines of a small, um, little black cloth elastic, mm -hmm. steampunk butterfly. Run by gears. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh For another yeah. Project, I'm sure. Those are birds. We got our we got our steampunk birds, and we got mutt mutt. Can we see? Mutt, mutt. Oh yeah, there he is. You can see him. Oh, I can't reach him. Eh. I, uh, uh, backwards. Eh. Here's our little doggy. He's just kind of casually basking under the table. That's his secondary home. It's his kennel. Oh yeah, mechanical creatures. Love doing mechanical mm -hmm. creatures. Absolutely. Okay. And people talk to Mutt like he's a real dog. It's fabulous. We go and the kids will the kids will tell him their biggest secrets. I have no idea what they're saying, but they'll literally lean over and they'll start whispering in the robotic dog's ears. It's great. Oh, oh. Did you did you fry ants when you were a kid? <laughs> you fried ants when you were a kid. Of course didn't you? I did. Oh, and and worse than that. It's horrible thing that my cousins and I used to do. Uh oh. We'd, uh, Confession we'd time. take a, a little propane bottle like from a little little barbecue or a propane torch or something like that and uh, we'd rig the nozzle to basically empty the propane into a, a container, like a styrofoam container. And liquid propane is super super cold. It's like minus yes. 200 and something degrees Celsius. Then we would take earthworms oh. and we would drop them into the propane. You into liquid propane. You. I know it was terrible, horrible, inhumane. We were kids. We didn't know any better. If you did, you knew better. And now I, I can't even bother to squash. I can't even be like, bring myself to squash a fly. <laughs> Spiders. I'll catch them. Follow. Follow night, night, see, you later. see you later. Okay, Thanks, Stella. Don. Talk to you later. Thank you. Well, it is like uh, midnight back in Ontario, so. There we yeah, go. and she's got work in the morning. That's true. But, uh, yeah, I mean, now I will find a spider in the house and I will carry it, gently carry it and e evict it from the house. I'm sure it comes back in within the he's, next day or he's two. He's paying but... for all the demons he collected That's when he was a little one mushing and, and destroying animals and creatures. And Since I read about karma. Since I read about <laughs> karma. Since I suddenly became educated as an adult. Exactly. <laughs> he doesn't deserve hearts for that. A ribbon? A little bit of ribbon for our hinge, perhaps? Quarter inch ribbon. 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 I'm in the other room. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. I was using my teeth to keep the crown slightly bent. And I wasn't looking up, so I didn't see what was said. Oh, no. I'm so bad. And I wasn't there to watch the screen for you. A gooey mesh. Don't want a gooey mesh. Don't want a gooey mess. So, speaking of gooey messes, well, how are glue guns on this? It's hot hey. glue. It's supposed to be a mess. It's supposed to be a mess. It's like finger paint. It's supposed to be a mess. So, let's put a little... Put a hot glue on the back of the orange wing, which is going to be the one facing up on the butterfly. And stick that down. Hot, 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 hot. Yes, that's okay. glue, glue, hot, glue, 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 hot glue, glue, glue. Hmm, I think I like how that's working. You like it? I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Like a lot. Combos. We're making butterflies, not spiders. Combos ah! are getting all over everything. <laughs> no, that was Stargate. Remember the guns? With all the oh, dust and the yes. cobweb guns? Yeah. Fun, fun, fun! <laughs> Literally, like a massively oversized hot glue gun with quick drying strands and a blower. All over the place. It was a blast. It was a blast. Literally. I'm giving you that exasperated nose thing again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't see, and I got hot glue cooling. <laughs> Ow. Really not cooling. Ow. 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 That's the gauge of how much it's cooling down. Ow. Ow. Okay, I'm good. No, wait, it's stuck to my finger. There we go. <laughs> oh, 
You don't need that finger, do you? I don't need that finger. <laughs> hey, you're really tired. Yeah, it's okay. There's other things we're supposed to get done, right? Uh, yep. But deadline's fast approaching, and we still have a little outfit to make. It is, yes, we do. And, and hopefully, hooves to fix. My hooves. Yep, that would behoove me. Breathing. Why did I marry you? Uh, for those very reasons. Cause I'm funny. Okay, you're funny too. Behooves him. Where did that term come from anyway? Behave, behoove, but I don't know. English. We had this conversation when we were talking about the English language earlier and how um, unusual it can be. Her face is emoji. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't need emojis. Yeah, really. We, we are our own emojis. <laughs> we are our own emojis. <laughs> Thinking of, I shall take the tab off the end here. Now, won't that eventually uh, sort of wear? <sighs> really? What? K Celtic. This is Celtic radio and K Celtic. Suddenly... Glory, glory, yeah. hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay, now I I'm going to put in my head. <laughs> glory, hallelujah. I'm going to put in my head. Uh -huh. Back in the seventies uh -huh. in Ontario. Uh huh. Little cheap TV show, The Hilarious House of Frankenstein. Yes. The Transylvanian anthem. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The werewolf and bats, they gonna do yeah, or something along those lines. So that's what that's what I'm gonna keep in my in my brain. This, uh, this do we works. turn do we mute this? Do we turn that radio off for now? Our hands are busy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're almost fifty. This is we have to do anything to Yeah, that's better. I just skip to the next track. Whew, thank you. And we can all breathe a sigh of relief from one end of the country to the other. Hmm? Blindfolds always annoy. The I dog behind nothing. you. What? I know nothing. What mutt? What about him? What mutt? I don't know the mutt. RBB. <laughs> Mechanical Universal Tracker. And yes, he runs around. If you look at the videos online, I thought is a really crappy tie job. Oh yeah. But it's not as heavy as I thought it would be, so... Yeah, it's it rests on top of your ears, so... How's it look? That works, yeah. I think it's good. I think it's very good. It should look great with the... With the uh, you made wig. him. No, the dog. We made him. Yes, yes we made yes, him. Yes, we made him. She's not talking about me. I want it to be about you! <laughs> yes, we made him. Yes. Um... <laughs> He's, uh, he's a lot of leftover materials from Stargate. Uh, before the shop completely cleared out, Martin got me. <laughs> I got me. Mad? No. no. Crazy mad, maybe, but not. Oh, that's uh, something else altogether. But uh, yeah, <laughs> when, when Stargate wrapped, the shop was not being used for anything, and it was going to take another you know, two months to get everything out of there. So we gathered together as much scrap as we could and got on the machines and uh, he's mostly scrapped from the shop and uh, put most of them together before the shop completely shut down and then put the rest of them together once we got him back here cool 